filament settings uh, okay so once again I'll change the default template to my working template and I'll go over the filament settings first uh, so for filament um, we have the diameter that we set earlier in the configuration wizard uh, 1.75 millimeters and we also have an extrusion multiplier now if if you measure your filament and it's a bit bigger or a bit smaller than 1.75 you can make the modifications here uh, and you can also modify the amount of plastic uh, that is uh, extruded in relation to your diameter I've found keeping them uh, default at least for me is fine I'm not getting any uh, single wall issues with the three perimeters so that means for the three perimeters there's no gap between those walls as such they are solid um, the gaps that I that I am or that I was seeing was only to do with the top and bottom uh, or, or just solid infill layers where each line wouldn't touch the next line as it was laid down next to it so I've fixed that via the other print settings tab um, unfortunately if I use this extrusion multiplier that would apply um, more plastic for every single print move that's not something I want I want to be able to control the amount of plastic based on each printing scenario so I, I leave this as default and I make all the modifications back on the print settings tab for temperature uh, we have two um, temperature controls so we have the, the hot end extruder and we have the heat bed uh, they are split between the first layer of the print and the rest of the layers of the print for the extruder I uh, keep the first layer and other layers identical but in this case it's ABS and my ABS prints at 230 degrees Celsius no problems for the heat bed um, splitting out the first layer with other layers is quite useful because um, for a lot of uh, ABS plastic you need a lot of heat for the first layer to adhere to stick down on the bed so for example you might set 110 degrees but if you had 110 degrees for the entire print the entire height of the part you may come across something called um, I think what's quoted on the rep wrap forum elephant foot that is where the strength of the part is too weak because it's too hot it's a bit soft it's unable to support the weight of the layers above and you start getting the part bowing in on itself so what this allows you to do it allows you to have a nice hot heat bed for the first layer so your plastic sticks down and then it allows you to change the temperature of the heat bed from layer 2 onwards uh, this alleviates that problem of that elephant foot that bowing in of the part um, as it prints um, so this is something that I that I always do I, I get away with um, 100 for the heat bed and then 90 for the rest of the layers for example if you print a calibration cube my um, calibration cubes are nice and level they're not bowing in with ABS because I'm not um, uh, leaving too much heat around the print for the uh, for the entire height of it okay moving across to cooling I don't have a fan attached to my Bowden extruder uh, set up yet so a lot of this fan control doesn't apply to me uh, at the moment it is something that I'll be um, modifying on the Bowden uh, part that I've created and loaded into Thingiverse so I'll be modifying that part and uploading it um, when I when I get to it but this section here cooling thresholds this does apply um, to all prints basically specifically these these last two options so we have slow down if layer print time is below and in this case I've reduced it to five seconds and we also have a minimum print speed of 15 millimeters a second so what this means is if the that particular layer that is currently printing if the print time is below five seconds and the default is 30 by the way so if the print layer is below five seconds so that is it's only printing something very tiny for that layer the print move or the print speed will slow down from whatever I've set it to down to 15 um, uh, millimeters a second and the reason you do that is is because um, if if you've only just placed the layer down if you quickly try to change layers and put another layer down well the layer below is probably still molten it's probably not able to support the next layer of plastic 
what that means is you're going to start seeing an inconsistency in the finish of the print. Now, I thought 30 seconds as being the default was too excessive. Um, what I found early on in the piece was I'd be printing something and it would have different um, and I would see different print speeds throughout the different layers depending on how much it's actually printing and I couldn't work out why the hell the printer was slowing down and speeding up depending on how much it was actually printing and turns out it was this cooling threshold that was causing uh, the different um, print speeds so I've reduced this right down if if I'm printing if my print time per layer is any more than five seconds I don't feel a need to slow down so I've really wound this feature right back um, and also if I am only printing for five seconds at that layer then yeah you'll want to reduce your print speed um, the default is 10 millimeters a second that's pretty slow so I've increased that to 15 millimeters that seems to produce a nice enough finish for those small parts I can't really tell the difference from 10 to 15 but reducing that from 30 to 5 is certainly um, I thought that was a bit excessive and also you don't want to change your print speed too often because if you're doing that you are going to start seeing slightly a slightly different finish uh, between the layers if you know one layer is printed at 40 millimeters a second and the next layer is printed at 10 you, you're gonna see something different there and if it's constantly changing switching back and forth it's it's not gonna look good so by reducing this down to five seconds I pretty much guarantee it's not gonna do this until yeah it's a small layer Okay, next up is printer settings.